Thank you, Ben. Um, I was just saying, here I feel a bit like a, like a dinosaur because um, when, when, when Bell called me and asked me, um, when, when, when did you start uh, into this life? I had, I had to say, well, back in 2000, and uh, that means we're, we're, we're a 17 years old startup, which uh, sounds a bit ridiculous, but anyway, it gives, it gives me an advantage tonight, which is that I probably have made more mistakes than anybody in the room, so I decided to focus on um, the worst, the, the costliest, and the, the, the near deadly mistake that we've made um, over the last um, 17 years. Um, I also have a, a positive message, don't worry. Um, it is this, which is our latest product, the one I'm the most proud of. 17 years of micro manufacturing mistake in it. And um, I would explain in, in, in my conclusion um, how it works. It is um, as obviously a, a toilet brush, as you understood. Um, I will tell you a bit later more about it. Um, the, 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 the title of, of what I want to say today is an economy you can like. Um, and I'm going to start by presenting a bit what, what we do at this last. We're a workshop in a, in a, in a city. Um, this is our lovely um, toilet brush in its best position. Um, a workshop in a city um, where we um, manufacture furniture on demand. We, um, in front of our client, um, with the glass wall um, at the back of the shop being the essential feature. Um, we um, um, deliver only uh, directly in, um, in London, um, with, without packaging, without much transport, without not too much stock. Um, and the, the key point and the most important and the, most, the direction of most of our efforts is the fact that we want to offer prices that make sense in, in a global economy. That means a, a table for uh, starting from uh, about 200 euro, chair for about 75 euro, um, and, um, and a lamp for 20 euro. So, so, so we're not expensive enough to be another, another designer or craft shop. What, what we offer to our clients is, is simply the opportunity to buy into an economy they, they can like. Um, they, they buy a story from us, they buy the story they can tell about, about their product. Um, of course, as any startup, we've, we've got a, a world domination plan, which is to, to open, in every, in, open, open a workshop like this um, in every city, distributing locally. Um, we have a main financial back backer. Um, now, it's a bit strange to confess that in, in, in France, especially, but it, it happens to be the UK government. We got a, a grant to develop our tech four years ago, and a new grant now to develop um, um, other workshops. And of course, we've got a dream, and our dream is um, IKEA value or values um, in a garage. Now, there's a, there's a catch, um, is that it's not particularly easy to make a chair for 50, 50 euro in a garage. That's what we've been trying for the last uh, 17 years. Um, and this is where we made most of our mistakes. So, three mistakes. Um, the first one is, I need more machine. And the second one was, I need more software. And the last one was, I need more space. So. I need more machine. The reasoning, the reasoning about this, um, a machine costs about a thousand pounds a month. Any person, about two thousand or three thousand. So any operation I can shift from the person to the machine will save me money. Now, it's a very costly mistake because we immediately created a bottleneck. We limited our growth capacity. We stopped thinking about simpler way to deliver our objective, which is a 50 pound uh, or 50 euro chair uh, in a garage. And also, there was a nasty side effect, which was a message we sent to our staff. Um, Please feed the machine till, um, till it, it, it can finally replace you, basically. Second mistake was I need more software. Um, you know about 3D modeling, it's all clever and flexible, and the code you send to the machine is stupid and rigid. So, so we needed to have a way to make this code um, flexible and clever to um, adjust for the wood variation or client dimension for different clients and optimizing the, the sheets of material. So we went to a two years um, software project to, to, to put our sheets together, government funded. Um, and we 
we developed it and it worked. Um, so the business model I was in now it was sort of I was running a software company. Problem then was the fact that we started thinking the way the soft the way the software was. We developed the software to optimize um, sheets um, like this and big sheets of plywood, which is our main material. And um, but the problem is now we realize that one of the biggest problem of the company today are the big sheet of plywood. So the software prevented us to look at a simpler way to, to, to solve our problem. And also there was another side effect, which is a message to the staff, which was to say, take your brain, put it in the software um, till, till it, it can replace you. Um, and the last mistake um, was I need more space. Um, and the reasoning there was after 10 years, um, our space was completely crowded with, with um, semi-finished product, material parts, um, and we were absolutely crying for space. So we opened um, in, a big, in a big arch in Battersea, um, and we made a few furniture and, 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 and opened a shop and a workshop. Um, 400 square meter, the, the business model there that was, was Walmart uh, or something. Um, and, but, but, but there we hit, we hit probably the, the biggest massive problem. We, at the same time, by coincidence, that we opened this, this big um, uh, workshop, we just realized um, that our problem was not space, but it was, it was that we need, it was lean. We needed to, to put less things in operation pipe and, and make furniture in one piece flow. And we, we realized that lean manufacturing techniques applied completely to what we were doing. And, um, and that space was not at all um, the problem. Our staff, uh, well, was working so much that they started losing weight. Nobody complained about it, but um, we we realized that in fact there is a very big case to apply lean manufa manufacturing technique to the size of a small workshop like ours, and we are still translating Toyota from Japanese to plywood now. Then, so what have we learned um, of all these mistakes? Um, is that well, man micro manufacturing or urban manufacturing is not just about machine, not just about software, not just about getting the bigger space. Um, I would say it's, a, it's probably a special way to design job because our main problem today is to, um, which is a job of Elodie, our production manager, which should be there, um, finishing a table. Um, our main problem today is to train our team to ask a question every day on how they could improve their job. And this is crucial, ju not just because we want our production and our, and, our, and our productivity to improve, but because it's, it's required to get them interested and, and, and engaged. Um, and this is probably our, our, biggest, our biggest problem today. So how do we create an economy we, we, we can like? Um, the answer that John Ruskin, the guy who wrote the book until this last, back in 1860, Eight, as in 1860, um, his answer was to criticize um, the way uh, classical economy was uh, counting costs. So he disagreed with the fact that the cost of a shoe uh, is just um, labor plus material, um, because the the shoe factory was next to a, a river. He argued that uh, who's going to clean the river, and the cost of the shoe should include the cleaning of the river uh, for the next generation. Now. This cleaning um, business obviously um, gets us back to our lovely toilet brush. Um, you know the, the, the general problem with toilet brush, obviously, I'm not gonna teach you anything. Um, the question is who's gonna clean the toilet brush? And um, there's two solutions, two strategies. One is to dump it to another sort of class. Somebody else is gonna, gonna clean the, the toilet brush. That's one, one option. The other option is to um, rely on a complex and very wasteful um, supply chain and to um, bin the whole plastic thing and, and buy a new one um, regularly. Well, both solution not 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 very satisfying. So we um, we find a way. This one just take a piece of paper, um, do the job, um, leave it there. Uh, nothing is, is gets dirty. So that's that's my argument today. Um, urban manufacturing is this. It's it's um, it's a way to to design. An economy we can like. We don't. We don't compulsorily need more, more um, machines, more software, or more space. But we do need to solve problems um, in the same way that this toilet brush is solving problems. 
Thank you very much for your attention.